Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some baguette style rolls. So these are going to be the sh in the shape of a sort of 11-12 inch uh, baguette but they won't be as crusty as those French baguettes uh, that you might buy in the shops. Um, and they take a little bit of time to make because you have to prove the dough and such like uh, but they're quite easy and so for the baguettes I have 300 grams which is uh, two cups and I think about two tablespoons of plain flour. I have 30 grams just over two tablespoons of uh, softened butter, eight grams which would be one packet of active dry yeast, one medium egg which I've lightly beaten that would be large in the USA. I have half a teaspoon of salt then uh, in this jug I have uh, 90 millilitres, six tablespoons of lukewarm milk and 120 millilitres, half a cup of lukewarm water and into that I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of sugar and that's because I'm going to activate the yeast in this mixture and the sugar will help to activate it. So having stirred that sugar in I'm going to put the yeast into the milk and I'm going to leave it to activate for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll start to make our dough. So the yeast has activated as you can see nice and frothy here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my salt into the flour and just give it a mix around and then I'm going to make a well in the middle and pour the yeast mixture in and I'm going to add the egg as well and then you can use your hand, I actually am going to start with a fork, but you can use your hand to start to mix this into a dough and I will add the butter just a little bit later as I get the mixture combined So I'm going to put the butter in and then I'm going to scrape down the bowl and use my hand to begin kneading. I'll knead it for a little while in the bowl then I'm going to turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface. So the dough has tightened a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flour onto my work surface and I'm going to tip the dough out onto it and I'm going to continue to work it until it's nice and smooth as you can see at the moment it's still very sticky but I just turn it over and stretch it as I go like this and I'm going to cover that uh, with some plastic wrap and allow it to um, rise for about an hour until it's doubled in size. Then I'll come back and we'll shape our baguette style rolls ready for baking. So my dough has now uh, doubled in size and uh, it's not been an hour but because of the temperature in here it's risen quite quickly 
And if I uh, just press in um, with an indentation, it doesn't spring back, which should indicate that it's risen enough. So I'm going to tip it out onto a lightly flowered surface. Just going to knock the air out. And then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to weigh it so I can try to divide it fairly evenly. So, 207. I want three pieces of 207 grams by the look of it. So what I'm going to do with each piece is to pull it and turn it into itself like this. And then turn it so that I get some tautness into it, like that. And then I'm going to roll that out. into a, a log shape and it can be narrower at the end, it doesn't matter. And when I've got them roughly the length of my pan like that, I'm going to put them in. As, as I say, you don't need a pan, but if you've got one, it's good to use. So with the three uh, rolled out like that, I'm going to preheat my oven to um, 200 Celsius. That's 180 Celsius with a fan. Um, 370 uh, Fahrenheit and I'm going to cover these and allow them to rise for 15 minutes and then after 15 minutes I'll be back with you and we'll put them in the oven. So um, I've let this dough uh, prove again for about 15 minutes and my oven is preheated uh, to 200 Celsius 180 Celsius with a fan, that's 350 Fahrenheit. I think I said 370 earlier, 350 Fahrenheit. I'm going to put these into the oven. Now, I've actually used a very sharp knife and I've put three little slits in each one. So you can do that if you want to. And I'm going to put them into the oven and bake them for 30 minutes. Um, and then once they've cooled down after they've come out of the oven, I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, well, I baked our... Um, baguette style bread for 30 minutes exactly and they're still hot they've only been out of the oven about two minutes i'm not going to cut these because i'm taking them over and we're going to eat them somewhere else with our dinner um, but they bake quite nicely as you can see and they do feel crusty um, going to be nice and soft inside i'm sure now you could Actually, I should have said, but, and I didn't, you could, if you wanted to, before you bake them, brush the top with a little bit of egg, um, egg yolk or something, and that will give it uh, a little bit more colour. But I think these look fine. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on, which will take you to this recipe. And I'll put a link to it below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.